Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this look using the new Naked Cherry palette by Urban Decay. If you want to see how I made it happen, make sure you stay tuned. We're going to hop right in and start with our eyes first. As you can see, our brows are already done. This is the palette we'll be using today, which is the Naked Cherry palette from Urban Decay, one of the newest Naked palettes. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look at the eye work we're going to do. First, I'm going to go in and prime my lid using my Tarte Shape Tape, and then blending it out with a nice brush from Real Techniques. Here we are just going right into the crease over the wet concealer using Feels from the palette. We're going to pat it in, deepen it up, and blend it out before we add in another color. The next color we're going to add to our crease is going to be Bing. We're going to pat it in with a little bit smaller brush, a little bit less fluffy. And as we are done intensifying the color, we're going to blend it out as well. For whatever reason, it didn't show when I filmed, but we also add, added Devilish to this crease as well, and we blended it in as we went. But we added it in with an even smaller brush and even to the outer corner of the lid. Here we are going back in with our trusty old shape tape and we're just cutting that crease where we're going to add the lid shades that we want but we're going to make that that crease line really defined and then we're going to pat it out just to blend it evenly but so we also don't have too much concealer on our lid because that's a big no-no. Now when I go to set this, I always like to set the crease line first, so I'm going in and setting that with Hot Spot, which is the lightest shade in the entire palette, and then we're going to go in and set it with Turn On, which is the um, one of the shimmer shades in there, and then we're going in with um, Ambitious to do it into the corner, so it fades a little bit from light to dark, and then we're blending it all in, and then we'll go back and add that darker shade if we need to, and then we're just dividing that, defining that crease line yet again, just to make sure it's really defined and super duper crisp, but doing this really does help sharpen that line up. So far, so good. Let's go and do it the second eye. And now let's add a little bit of pizzazz to this. We're going in and using Glitter Addict's Gold Chunky Glitter. I'm using my trusty old NYX Glitter Glue just to add a few drops of glitter. And then we're going to add it to the corner of our eye once our eye is all done. Alright, finally time to get started on this face. We're going in with Maybelline's Instant Pore Eraser Primer, and then we're going to mix two foundations to make it amazing. We're going to be mixing Maybelline's Superstay Foundation and Milani's Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation to get the right color and consistency that we want. I'm going in with Purr's um, Beauty Blender and just putting it on. Purr has been my new favorite beauty blender, or... Uh, sponge to apply my makeup with lately because it does it so evenly so flawlessly and so amazing and these full coverage foundations are just so amazing look at them cover those dark circles man oh so dope Going back in with the trusty shape tape just to add some concealing. 
and then we'll be using more of the Real Techniques brush it. If you guys haven't tried Real Techniques brushes, you really need to. They're such a great drugstore brand brush at such an affordable price. But they really perform so much better. The, this brush is from the Face Essentials collection and it's really meant for a crease brush, but it really works for blending out right on the same spot or in the same area and not doing a full area. So I use this for concealer. It really does the job so, so well. And I just, I loved it. And all the brushes I'm using today are from the um, Face Essential set. For setting, we're using them for powders and everything else. Just amazing. Here we are just going through and starting to set our face using the setting brush and we're using our airspun setting powder. So I'm just going in with this brush and just doing all of my small areas. I always do my difficult areas with a fluffy brush. So my T-zone and under my eyes, um, that way we're not doing too much powder and we know it's set really well. Instead of doing something that's too fluffy that might move it around. Um, and then I'll do the rest of my face with a much bigger fluffier brush. This is actually the blush brush from the Face Essentials set, but I decided it would be really great to do my whole face with it and it actually worked really well and I liked it. Here we are going with Pop Beauty's Contour 101, 101, which is their matte contour that they have. And I'm going in with the blush and the sculpting shade just to contour up my face and warm it up just a bit, just a pinch, so I'm not so pale. Because we're Casper like over here and we need it. And these lights are really like flattening me out. So let's add some dimension to this girl. Here we are using Juvia's Place Blush Palette Number 2. We're going with that middle top shade. It's kind of a shimmery pink shade. We're going to use that right on the, the apples of our cheeks and kind of our cheekbones. I come over the cheekbones. And then here we are using Ofra's Highlight, which I got from Gem Beauty, which I didn't realize how amazing these highlighters were. So gorgeous. They blend so amazing all over the face, and they are great. For my skin tone. I used the lighter side of the, the highlight for this, but it worked so well. I was in love with it instantly. Didn't even swatch it, just was like digging into this bad boy. Next, we're going to use Huda Beauty's Lip Contour and Trend Setter. We're going to line our lips and then fill them in completely. And then, again, we didn't get to film this, but we're going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss and Citrine from the holiday kit that I got. For whatever reason, it didn't film, but that'll be the final look. So here's the finished look all together. I have to say, I haven't used an Urban Decay Naked Palette in so long. And this palette just performed really, really well. It blended well, the pigments there. The shimmers aren't as pigmented as I would like, but there's a few tips and tricks to help that happen. Um, there wasn't any fallout on my face, but there was some fallout in the palette. So it's all up to you and what you prefer and what you like. The glasses from Anastasia are absolutely amazing. So if you can grab that gloss kit for Christmas, I definitely suggest it. And this naked palette is just amazing. So thanks so much for hanging out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. 
Love you guys.